Let's get down right in it. I got a story, terribly embarrassing story. And only me and the campers at Camp Cherry Mountain know of this story. I went to this camp in Missouri and about halfway through the camp, the counselors decided they wanted to go to the spillway for some full body H2O slicing. Which I think we all know is just the short English way of just saying a swim. <laughs> this is my first time at the camp, okay? I, I never been to the spillway. I mean, we had a pool at the camp. I don't understand the allure of going to the spillway. But everybody at the camp, <laughs> they let out this cheerful shrill. You know, it, w it wasn't a cheer. It wasn't cheery enough to be a cheer, it was, it w but it was close. I knew nothing about this body of water. For all I knew, it was like purified through a Brita tap, okay? I didn't know anything about it. I treated it naively. I just jumped the crap in for hours, just relishing it in, you know? One might even go far as to say, I was soaking in the fun. One might say that. Well, that's something I think one might say. Nobody would say that. I think I would. I, think I ended up getting out for a quick breather. Let's just go ahead and slice through that crap, okay? I went out to start flaunting my calves. Yeah, I have amazing calves. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I didn't have a lot of muscle definition back then. I was like more like an oblong shape bean, you know? I, I mean, that's really what I was with calves. I was a bean with calves. I mean, the only peacocking I could do was to flaunt my calves. And you gotta flaunt what you got, okay? And I have calves. Let it be known. <laughs> that was a staff. I'm on the beach, okay? And I start hearing these people start chatting. They say something that I never wanted to hear ever. They basically said that there were leeches in the water. So I look over at them and what are they doing? They start picking off the leeches, but they're like laughing. They're like half, they're like it's joyous. It's a cheer. They pick off the leeches and they run back in the water, <laughs> just g giggling away. I mean, who does that? As soon as my mind gets a hold of the knowledge that there could be leeches on me, it goes to town, gets a Lunchable, comes back, has a field day, planting thousands of imaginary parasites on my body. I just feel them. <laughs> I begin surveying for leeches. You know, I look head to toe, okay? Didn't see anything. And I would have skipped over one area if it hadn't been for the movie Stand By Me. Okay, in the movie, for people who haven't seen it, a small band of like adventurous boys, okay, in part of the movie, travel through the swamp when they get swamped by leeches. And one leech gets past the cotton barrier and invades a very private area. I decided to dig deeper and form a full investigation to make sure nothing was vampiring me. So I 3D my trunks open, okay, because I need light. Freaking the leeches aren't just gonna pop out, say hello, okay? They're gonna be hiding in the shadowy places. So I try to freaking harness the sun and shoot it into my trunks. But because it was late afternoon, the sun dipped behind the trees, okay? I couldn't get any solar power to get a proper glance into the mesh netting in my trunks. I had to dig deeper. A full removal of the contaminated garment had to take place. Had to, okay? No if, and, or buts. Well, <laughs> there would be a but. Spillway didn't have any bathrooms. I had to find like a secluded place to, to see if there were any leeches in my netting. On the opposite side of the bus, there was a tree stump. Yeah, so I walk over to the stump and I pull my trunks down mid-thigh. The search was on. <sighs> it might have been day out but there was a full moon. I couldn't shake this feeling that I was being watched. I mean, which is natural because, I mean, the, the calves, you know, it, it, they bring quite the onlooking. But I looked around, I didn't see anybody until I heard some chatter, 
which was quite the disturbance upon my column. I mean, I was about to be discovered. I didn't even have enough time to pull them up. The, before I knew it, the guy was like, he was there. I mean, luckily I was facing the trunk. So all he saw was a sideways capital B. And I did the only thing I could think of doing at the time, which was the kind of pretend like I was urinating. Except the stance that I was in looked nothing like a human being peeing. And the camper just lets me have it. Dude, what are you doing? Telling the truth crossed my mind, but uh, but uh, I panicked. So I basically made it seem like he was the weird one for like walking up on me. I'm out here trying to get a quality urine in. Quality, and you have the gall to walk up on me? Whatever, man, you're not even peeing. Really? I'm not peeing. Yeah, really? I don't see any pee coming out. You need to take your attitude in for a tune-up because I am in fact peeing in a perfectly horizontal line. How is that even possible? Vitamin water! He walks off, at which time I feel my calves on fire. The Duane startled me so much I stepped in a fire ant hill. So I'm like wedging my way to the water's edge, right like freaking Donkey Kong, Lake Town, I'm trying to get barrels. <laughs> You know, I run to the water's edge, I start splashing water on my calves to cool the fire. But inadvertently, I ended up splashing leeches onto my calves. So I run back, wedging my way back to the friggin' anthill. And I flick the leeches into the anthill. <laughs> so I end the investigation. Turns out, no leeches. It was a safe haven. So a couple weeks later, we all gather at a friend's house, okay? Like 50, 75 of us. I mean, just packed in this house, okay? Just talking about camp, just reminiscing, okay? I didn't know this at the time, but one of the campers filmed. Filmed a lot of the, a lot of the camp activities. So we all thought it would be a great idea to get everybody and watch it. About 20 minutes in, cuts to the spillway. Is the there I am just digging in my under trowels for leeches. I thought maybe they don't see me because it's like a wide shot. The camera starts to zoom right in on me, full frame. It caught the whole dang thing. Me at the stump, the ants, freaking everything. <laughs> and the only thing I could think of was the legend. That is my calves. They looked great on camera. I mean, they were like Greek god green beans. And then it hit me. They weren't filming the act of me finding the leeches. They were filming my calves. <laughs>